apologize to my noble brother. Nah, nah, nah. The, the type of heat that he was blowing up there. You don't apologize after shit like that. <laughs> There's no apologies for shit like that, bro. When you blowing smoke like that. Especially on the dead. Like, so what I'm saying. When you blowing dead. smoke like that. And then you come out like the day later or two days later and apologize. We know you were forced. It was money that forced you to apologize. Somebody somewhere that said something that got to your pockets, and you're like, whoa, 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 I don't, I don't want to lose, lose, lose any more bread. He don't want to lose um, congregation members. He don't want to lose any endorsement or something, or whatever he might have, because these these mega preachers be making bread, bro. Yeah. He, so he don't. He something touched his pockets, and he's like, no, 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 I can't, I can't do that. Not because you soft, bro. I can tell. Like you out here blowing all that smoke. Now all of a sudden you out here apologizing for what, son? For what? What? A, nobody want that apology. You, it's goofy. Nobody want that. Hey, yo, it's Poppy, y'all. I'm Ace. Hi, and I'm Star. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I bet. Let's get into it. All right, so in this one, we got this goofy pastor, Jamal Bryant, talking about Kevin Samuels. You already know I'm hot. <laughs> you already know I'm hot. Right in the beginning, you already know I'm hot. Like, what you talking about? Like I, I already know. Like I seen other people made videos about this dude. I just, I don't know what he said, but I, 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 he was talking. He was talking spicy. Had to be, and because people was violating him. And I'm just like, can can dead people rest, bro? Yeah. You fucking people are disgusting. They can't fight their battle, so why are you picking on them? That's what I'm saying. If he was, if he, if he was awake to talk to you to whip you, what are you talking about? You violate your shit. Like you wait till niggas dead to pop out and start saying something. You pussy! Stop it! Stop it! I don't care what kind of man of God you claim to be if you don't have an authentic woman of God in your life who can hold you into accountability then your gift ain't going nowhere. Many of you all are quoting that a woman ought to submit. She ain't supposed to submit to any man. No. Even if we just want to go just by your own logic, my boy, the Bible says that. Mm -hmm. So don't don't. <laughs> it, does. it doesn't. It doesn't say, "Oh, the man got to be this or that before before you submit." It say you got to submit to your husband. Like if he's your yes, husband, that is, does. he could be the, the shittiest husband in the world, working in the goddamn the the, the iron mine, or the, the stone mine, or wherever they was at in, in in Gibraltar in the Bible or whatever. Like, come on, son. Like it's in there, bro. Yes. So. I'm not here one way or the other on the the other on that topic, but we need let's get let's get our facts right, okay? Let's get our our paradigm correct before we just start out here Change. talking out our ass. Like, what's wrong with him? Christian or anything like that, a godly man. No, he is. He so, was. That's that's why that's why he going at him. Because if he was like an atheist, I mean, he'd be like, oh, you don't care. You are listening. He was religious to though. Men who have no authority. How can a man say that you are of low value after thirty five? That's not what he said. That's not what he said. He didn't say you're of low value after thirty five. He said you are of lower relative value to other younger women. In fact, if you want to use it, make it more, make it simpler for you fucking morons, you are of lower relative value to your younger self. If you were to teleport them switch, there's, there's no one who would argue that when you're 37 and have two kids, that you'd be more appealing to a man than when you were 22 and you didn't have any kids. Like, if what world are we living in? If you choose you at 22, he if, would. You, if you got the fucking Dragon Balls, you'd wish to be 22 again without them kids. Stop playing with me. So if you, if you know that that's the better version of yourself, why are you on the man for telling you the truth? That if you wait until them years to then try and get the best man you think you can get, you've squandered your opportunity. That your opportunity was better earlier in life. I am 32 years old. When I was 22, I could dunk without a problem. Now my knees hurt. <laughs> Guess what? 
I had a better opportunity to put you and the basketball in the rim at the same time when I was younger. And no one would dispute that. What are we talking about? I like the ana um, anal <laughs> analogy of the whole car getting off the lot, a brand new car getting off the lot. Right. It, the value goes down once you, once you drive it off the lot. Like, it, it's not that hard to understand. So it's and just it continues like, to go down. Right, over time. That analogy is perfect. And for women to dispute that is crazy. And what you just said, like, that's a perfect analogy. Like, if you take your yourself and, and then compared your to your younger self, self it, it's, it's really a simple comparison. choice. You are a better person, a better, like, Usu Usually. And, it, and, it's, and it's more pronounced for women. Yeah. In that mo everyone looks worse when they get older. But it's, but it's women, faster for women. Yes, because we are made to bear and carry, and we have to add on that extra weight, and it's harder to lose as we get older. Even for men, it's harder to lose weight when you are older. So it, Older is worse, bro. Right. Everybody complains that they, when they get older, everything is like breaking down, and, and this at the third changes to your body. And obviously, if you, obviously, you're going to want right. your younger self. Right, and obviously, if you're going to compare men to women, he's going to say, oh, well, it's not fair. Well, listen. The thing that men want is not the thing that women want. The, the desires thing, are right, completely different. The opposite. The thing that women want, men get more of as they get older. And women care less about what you look like than what women, than men do. Men are very focused on what you look like. Women, less so if you got other stuff. Men, the thing that they want from you gets worse the older you get. Yeah. It's not that complicated. It's not fair, but it is what it is. It's, well, I mean, it's not fair for women when you're 35. Right? And men, when you're 20, it's not fair for you either. Like, that's the problem. They never can see it from someone else's point of view. They're 35 with two kids. They're like, oh, it's unfair to me. Because I can't get what I want. It's like, well, think about it. The dude who was 20 who tried to talk to you, but you're like, nah, you're a broke goofy. And you went to talk to the 30-year-old that had a job and a, and, a, and a Porsche. Guess what? He felt life was unfair for him too at that time. That's how life is. Mm -hmm. How can a man say that you do not have of a high-powered man when that man has got to get a GoFundMe for his funeral. A lie. It's been proven that that GoFundMe was started by a fucking imposter, con confirmed by the family, and the family rejected any money that was sent over there. That boy got... That's that, crazy. I didn't hear about that. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you can add on to the fact that if this man was had half a fucking brain, you could go on his YouTube, you can see the fucking analytics, bro. You know how much YouTube pays relatively. You can count how much money he made off YouTube alone. And Where'd that money go? Are you dumb? And he's been an image consultant for quite some right. time. Right, million, million, a million subscribers. Like, what are you talking said about? He knows high, high end people, so he's in that bracket. He's walking. Around. He was around these people. This nigga, this nigga was posting like a video or two every day, each getting hundreds of thousands of views for for over a year. A year and a half. He ain't need no help. He Two years. Money. And you're telling me that he needed money for a funeral? How much do you think funerals cost? A billion dollars? What are you talking about? It was what the fuck are you talking there about? There was some suspicion that he might have been a sugar daddy, so... Right, like, what are you... What is this man... Like, people just get on a pulpit and fucking lie. People like, it's bad. to talk. Just get on shit and lie. Like, fuck out of here, nigga. Look at these fucking morons. So, Yo, they got men aren't list allowed to speak their truth. Can't say nothing, bro. Men aren't allowed to speak their truth. This is like mind boggling and just like. Yo, this man a pastor? This is a guru. We, we don't do that here. And there's your problem. No, he doesn't. That man don't got to do a fucking thing. If he don't like you, he don't got to step up to deal with no bullshit. He'll just boot your goofy ass and move it along. And the fact that they still don't understand that is the most retarded thing I've ever heard. You think if you 5'2", 400 pounds, built like a linebacker like he was talking about, that he must step up to handle you? 
You got to lost your fucking mind. The world is trying to make men submit now. <laughs> Shut yeah. up and just submit. Yeah, the, the problem is that we're the wrong demographic to try to force to submit. Yeah. We're built for fucking combat. Like, it's completely different. Women are trying we're to get their... We're aggressive naturally. Women are trying to get their voices to the point where it's just like... They don't want to hear any mansplaining or anything from men. Like, any time they voice their opinion or anything like that, it's a problem. It's crazy. Right. This motherfucker got me hot already. <laughs> but let me see. Niggas was talking that spice. Oh, yeah. Oh, here you go. Right after he did all that bullshit, all that hot talking, right? He hit he, he, this bitch nigga go now got to apologize. Oh, you got to apologize? Why? Because everybody got on you like... You're supposed to be a man of God. You're out here slandering the dead, lying in front of the people. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. God ought to strike your goofy ass down. Unbelievable. Look at him, look at him. You a bitch, to nigga. Fuck out of here. He was wrong. I want to apologize to my noble nah, nah, nah. The, the type of heat that he was blowing up there. You don't apologize after shit like that. <laughs> There's no apologies for shit like that, bro. When you blowing smoke like that. Especially on the dead. Like, that's what I'm saying. When you blowing smoke like that, and then you come out like the day later or two days later and apologize, we know you were forced. It was money that forced you to apologize. Somebody somewhere that said something that got to your pockets, and you're like, whoa, 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 I don't, I don't want to lose, lose, lose any more bread. He don't want to lose um, congregation members. He don't want to lose any endorsement or something, whatever he might have, because these these mega preachers be making bread, bro. Yeah. He, so he don't. He something touched his pockets, and he's like, no, 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 I can't, I can't do that. Not because you soft, bro. I can tell. Like you out here blowing all that smoke. Now all of a sudden you out here apologizing for what, son? For what? What? Are, nobody want that apology. It's goofy. Nobody want that. Mothers of Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, hear this, uh, because an apology is only messed up if you match it with an excuse. Apologies do not come with an excuse. So shut the an fuck up and move on, then, nigga. Comes with ownership, and I want to make a very clear lesson and indication when people hold you accountable. Does not make them a hater. When people hold you accountable, that means they have expectation for what it is that and you, you are disappointed. To be doing I don't got expectations of you. you I got expectations that you shut the fuck up. That's what I got expectations of. What's wrong with this dude, oh bro? My God. Nah, he got me hot. What's wrong with this dude, well, bro? What's wrong with him? <laughs> What's wrong with him, son? Nah, 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 nah. You don't accept his apology? Never, bro. On behalf of Kevin, I do not accept your apology. Fuck out of here, nigga. What are you talking about? Well, I respect it. Of, all, of of us all who still who still who still alive here, we don't accept your apology, kid. <sighs> what are you talking about? We don't accept your apology. We the conglomerate don't accept your apology, kid. Nah, let me see. Pink book got something on him. I want to see what they're talking about. They got dirt on this thing. I want to see what they got on him. <gasps> first heard about Jamal Bryant's Mother's Day sermon, I was like, I know he's not sitting up here running his mouth about anybody. Where is Tony Smith when you need him? Shout out to Pastor Smith. But over the Apparently some of these other pastors about to put heat on him. Oh, really? Yeah, the, this nigga's a, apparently, this motherfucker Jamal Bryant a whole criminal. We about to hear right now. Oh, a lot of pastors we find out. Or, that pardon me, an alleged criminal, borderline criminality. All right, let me not get, get my ass sued out here like... <laughs> like what's his name Mr. Olsen out here oh my god mm. let's see what he's he doing he is. Jamal Bryant he loved those single ladies in the church because he was exercising those options having relations with women in the congregation like come on he's obviously keeping them single on purpose still you have thousands mm. of women they love going there in their minds it's their mental relief you got Mr. Mm. Jamal Bryant up here saying Predator. praising Predator. praising Predator. that man Predator. on stage you don't have the authority to advise people, nor should you be in the pulpit preaching to anybody. You've been a false prophet for over 20 years, sir. With your horrible track record, you also better be Oh, yeah, let me hear that. ...about the 16-year-old legal consent in Maryland. What's that? Eh, eh. Wait, what? He said that you were saved by the 16-year-old legal consent in Maryland. I told you I'm some... Touching little girls. Right? Or boys. Now I told you that uh, that you know in some states the um the, the, the age of consent the age is sixteen. Yeah, yeah. So he he just, made he, it. he he just made it and 
Listen, in other in other states, we call you weird family. Interesting. Of keeping the church ladies single so he can have access to them and their daughters. Mm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Let me see. There's a, there's a, there's a Let me see how many men are in his church. Fucking none, bro. Well, not none, but it's it's, it's, it's but it's it's, pr- it's primarily women though. Mm. Let me see. Let me hear what he was doing. He got married in 2002, but his it didn't wife. last long. Six years later, Giselle filed for divorce, and many believe it was because of his infidelity. Jamal was having relations with women in the congregation, and even had a big scandal that involved him allegedly getting a 17-year-old girl pregnant. Ooh. Everybody... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Hey, yo. And this I... is the man who's... Could you but believe? It's not confirmed. Allegedly. I don't give a fuck. Nigga... You throwing stones and you live in a glass house, preacher. Could you believe that? Mm. Some of these preachers be the most dastardly motherfuckers ever. They talking down on the dead. Lying on the dead. And now you out here, you a whole fiend. And you out here talking about other people. Mm. Kevin Samuels was mean to people. You out here touching people. You are a weirdo. This man... creep. Right. This dude has... Betrayed the trust of his congregation members because when you a pastor, that's like a position of authority, like a position of trust. Yep, yep, you know what yep. I'm saying? So like a teacher. So it's just like, how are you praying on people? Like they go to you for advice about their relationship. They go to you advice about their life, and you over here using that information to try and slide on shorties. You're a weirdo, kid. Because he's a human and he's a man. Yeah, but still, you that that's inappropriate, bro. It is. So you're not to be doing that. It, it, my whole point. Then to come out and cast aspersions on other people. Don't praise pastors, uh, you know, and all these, you know, high end church people. Like, don't praise them. They're human beings. And a lot of these people in these mega churches, they be fucking stealing. Popes. That's how they got all this. Pastors, that's how they got private jets and shit. They be stealing. Yeah, like they're human the beings. Church community and the black community. It's faulty too. And on Jamal Bryant, his church audience went from thousands to hundreds. And so. So niggas found out about the allegations of him getting the girl pregnant and then the divorce being as a result of that. And. Mm the boy church shrinking down. See, and now what he do, he want to he wanna get up and talk hot about Kevin so he can bring his, bring his church up again, Goofy. Then he wondered why the family of the 17-year-old girl didn't do anything about it. Well, for one, Jamal was protected by Maryland's age of consent, and yeah. he was also allegedly protected by the girl's family. I ain't, I ain't many preachers out here got no clean, man. That's just being right. That's like Jamal Brown. That's why he had to leave Baltimore. Got that little young girl pregnant. She was 17. Her mom there. They own a funeral home up there. They sold out. <laughs> you really did it. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it's a holy. Like academics say, holy. It's <laughs> really the OG scum. He dirty. You know what I'm saying? Expose him and sue him. And he a married man. Got a 17 year old girl pregnant. Married. Get the car. They looked at how big his church was. Or his daddy mom. They big over the little. Uh, the little funky little, what that little American Episcopalian, what that little <laughs> Methodist, man, gonna go piss on a pot with this guy. No, Said that sold their daughter out. She done got pregnant by a grown married man. Oh my she God. She not about she'll sue that bastard. Yeah. Know? They look that they gonna lose money. So if family big enough, they church big enough, that ain't gonna give you no funeral party, you get no funeral money. So now what you do? You keep your mouth shut. I see because he's saying that the um that the family of the girl mm-hmm. owned a funeral home. a funeral home right and who you a lot of times how, how you I get see. your how you get the body over there they the you go you, you yeah your pastor recommend where are we send the body they say no nah, we use that funeral home down there go down there with them right and mm-hmm. all of a sudden if y'all had beef you know they would send it to the one across town they lose money that's crazy bro. Mm. That, and, I, and that's sacrificing your kid for that? That's weird, bro. I mean, I guess they figured the deed was already done. She pregnant already. Jesus, And mod- they going to have to co- coincide. They going to have to co-parent and but, deal with him. But, might as but well. come on, though. I know. It's wild crazy. But it's just like, I can see how that would benefit, especially because the girl's already pregnant. The deed is already done. Like, right. But, 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 but well, this, but this is got to deal with you anyway. So let's, like, you know, partner up or whatever. I get that. But, like. But this ah, is your hero? This ah, is your hero? The, the nigga that hate Kevin? This is your hero? Goofy. Let me see something. 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 Let me see
I'm gonna start using that. He said, You better repent or lift your eyes up in hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, when church people get on you, boy, they be hitting you with the you. with the descriptive <laughs> like yo. Oh my mm. gosh. Oh god. There's two pastors. This is the second pastor now heating buddy up. Right. Yes. Or sleeping with little kids. That's what I, that's what like, I'm saying. Why are you still pa why are you still pastor? But even if even if they're adults in your congregation, that's weird, bro. It's a position of trust. You're taking advantage. Mm -hmm. It's weird, bro. Right. Oh yes, that that boy hot. He was hitting. Let me see. She got more on here too. Right. Oh my God, I'm telling you, yo. Or the little girl came to you to, uh, to talk about her issues or whatever, consoling you, and you use that. Right, you it's dirty. That. It's nasty, bro. It's nasty, bro. Like, come on. So there's more, son. I don't know how they got not sitting in prison. Any Negro, white Negro, whoever speak with my underage daughter, straight, <laughs> damn straight. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? You meet God today. <laughs> You meet Better. your you meet your Lord and Better. Savior Savior forthwith. Better. Expeditiously. Without delay. Without like haste. what do you do with all due haste? Boy, <laughs> she talk about you and me talking to St. Peter. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, got your head blown off, Goofy. You touching people's kids. I'm surprised the fact that the father sold his kid out for the for the for the family business instead of choking you is really the is really the the, the crazy part to me. Right. But I'm the bad guy when I called into the car. A child <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure why Jamal Bryant was Listen. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. This is your hero. This is the people were on Twitter praising this dude on IG. Oh look, the pastor firing up Kevin. Look how they do him. Look at him. A child toucher. Mm -hmm. Got them barely legal criminal. A weirdo. This is the guy who you're, who y'all rocking with. Y'all nasty. Y'all disgusting. Talking down on the dead. Disgusting. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I agree. Like, this is just repulsive in every way. And it's just, like, crazy how he can just sit here and talk about somebody else when, <laughs> you know, when he, you a sinner too. Right, you the chief sinner, bro. You, the, you really the one. Devil in disguise. The devil is a lie. Right. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this one. I'll holla at you. Rest in peace, Kevin. Facts.